right I have a 1,000 mile drive in a couple of days so I'm changing the oil in my V10 Econoline I'll use a mobile one high mileage good for 10,000 miles this oil change has about 5,000 on it synthetic oil changing it a little early but since I have a thousand mile drive ahead of me I'll go ahead and change it so when I was doing research on the Ford V10 because I wanted my van to have a V10 I stumbled across a few RV topics class A RVs with Ford V10s and the drain bolt is above the frame for some of the class A's with the Ford V10 so it tends to make a mess according to the topics I read see I don't know why I'm reading these topics I didn't want a class A RV but I read them anyway so I'm gonna do a demo with the Fumoto drain valve hopefully it'll help a few of you guys with the class A RV to not make a mess so here's the drain valve right here this one is compatible with the hose kit so let's go ahead and uh, put this on here there you go hose kit you pull this cover off and then I'm gonna drain this directly into the pan let me set it up okay the tube is going directly into the pan so there you go it's draining right now give it a good 15 minutes while I wait for the oil to drain I never looked at the white pipe of this van but it looks like it does pinch in a little bit right here it like reduces a little bit I know super duty drivers and excursion drivers change out their white pipe due to the uh, pinched in center doesn't look as bad as the super duty and the excursion but I wonder if I could pick up some extra horsepower changing out the white pipe on this thing yeah right there pinches in looks thinner than this section it's hard to tell but yeah not as bad as the super duty and excursion this is my first oil change with the lift kit on my van stock height you don't need a jack to pick up the van or anything you don't need to put it on ramps but it is pretty low now it's a lot easier to crawl under my van you know what's underrated having the right tools have the right tools makes things easier I do like the oil filter location of my van it's easy makes the oil change easy Let's see if I could do this with the camera in my hand up oh, other way righty tighty lefty loosey there we go time to put in some fresh oil oil in the filter in the new filter oil around the o-ring put it on and then put my six quarts in I said it before and I'll say it again I really like how this oil filter is in a easy to reach location hand tight that's all you have to do yep that's good that's good enough so all you have to do is hit this lever and it locks here's the little lever lock cap right here just put it on and now you can't manipulate the little lever here you're good now wipe that off now to wipe off the excess oil and we're good to go double check it's good when your vehicle is clean and or you change your oil psychologically it feels like your vehicle runs better 119,825 miles on my van 
got it last year at the end of February. I put about a thousand miles a month on this worth a road trip. So now I'm good to go for 10,000 miles. I'll change my oil in about eight or nine. I'm not gonna go five, won't go 10, eight or 9,000, so slightly early. 5,000 feels a little too early, but I have a thousand mile drive and I just felt like changing my oil right now. Everything looks good. No leaks.